back. I had a really good night's sleep. Did you have a good night's sleep? I'm really finding the allergies are really bad because nature is popping all over outside. The leaves are coming out, flowers are growing. And let's continue our story to find out about the tiny seed. Remember, Eric Hall was our author and he also does all his own illustrations. Now, yesterday when I was done, I forgot to let you know, when you're done reading as part of the book, if you use a bookmark, then when you want to continue reading on the story, you'll know where you were in the book. So I'm going to open up to the page where my bookmark is. And this is where we stop the story. We finished the story with the seed was in the winter and it had grown and the mouse was eating all the other seeds, but our little seed was hiding. Now that was in the winter season. Now let's see what happens in the springtime, which is what we're in right now. We're in the season of spring. Now it is spring. After a few months, the snow has melted and it's really spring. Birds fly by, the sun shines, rain falls, the seeds grow so round and full that they burst and they open up a little bit. They are not seeds anymore, they are plants. First they send roots down to the earth. Do you see the roots? The roots are growing into the ground. Then their little stems and leaves begin to grow up towards the sun in the air. There's another part of the plant that grows much faster than the new little plants. It's called a big fat weed. And remember that other book that I read about the dandelion? Some people call that a weed. We called it, do you remember? It was called the stars in the garden. All right, let's go back to this story now because now the weed is growing faster than our seed. And it takes all the sunlight and the rain away from our small new seed and the little plant dies. He didn't get any water. Oh no. The tiny seed hasn't begun to grow yet and maybe it's too late. Hurry, but it finally starts to grow into a plant. Oh, it's gonna grow. They said it died, but I don't think it completely died. The warm weather also brings children out to play. They too have been waiting for the sun. Can you see the big foot there? In the spring to come, one child doesn't see the plants as he runs along. Oh, he breaks one. Now it will not grow because he stepped on it and broke the seed, the plant. The tiny plant that grew from the tiny seed is growing fast now but its neighbor is growing faster. Before the tiny plant has three leaves, the other plants have six. One, two, three on our tiny plant. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I count seven. Let's try that again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven are on the big flower. But what's happening? First, there are footsteps. Then there's a shadow looming over them. Then a hand reaches down and breaks off the flower. <gasps> I think somebody is picking a flower. Do you think they're picking a flower? A boy has picked the flower to give to his friend. When you give flowers to people, it's a way of saying that you like them or sometimes that you might love them. When I give flowers to my mommy, my mom knows that I love her. Now it's summertime and it's getting warmer outside. And now the tiny plant from the tiny seed is all alone. It grows on and on and it doesn't stop. The sun shines on and the rain waters it. It has many leaves now and it's growing taller and taller and taller. And it's taller than the people. It's taller than the trees and it's taller than the houses. And now the flower just keeps growing and growing on it. And the people come from far and near to take a look at the giant flower. It's the tallest flower they have ever seen. It's a giant flower. Have you ever seen a flower that big? I've never seen one that tall, but I have been around sunflowers that grow taller than Mrs. Crowder. All summer long, the birds and the bees and the butterflies come visiting. They have never seen such a big, beautiful flower. Do you see all those visitors? Look at all the visitors here. 
And now it's autumn again, and the days grow shorter, the nights grow colder, and the wind carries yellow and red leaves past the flowers. Some petals drop off from the giant flower, and they sail along the bright leaf with the bright leaves all over the land and down on the ground. What do you think is in the center of the flower? I wonder if we'll find out. The wind blows harder and harder, and the flower has almost lost all its petals. These are the petals. And it sways and it bends from the wind, but the wind grows stronger and stronger and shakes the flower. Once more, the wind shakes the flower, and this time the flower seeds pop open and they get blown in the wind. And they get blown all over, like the start of our story. So now that is the end of the story. That was the cycle of a plant. Did you enjoy that story? I told you it was a long story and I'm glad we broke it up into two days. I hope that you have this book at home and you'll continue to read it and you'll remember our story time together. Have a great day, boys and girls. Remember, I love you and I miss you. Take care.